Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a couple of pictures, and they're they're asking for somebody else, and they because this person knows I'm a woodworker, and I do stuff like this all the time. These are raised letters. A couple of questions. This could be a manufactured laser wood that uh, is vanilla colored or white, and it just wipes off clean. I actually have some. It's really cool. It's really good stuff. But if you have to paint it, I would cut the letters out and take a piece of uh, blue painter's tape, masking tape, and tape down the tape and have the sticky part up, and then just place your letters on there. It'll help you paint it. Because some of these letters are really small, and even with a rattle can, the, the letters are gonna move away and blow off the screen. So I kind of just drew an example. Uh, this piece is his wood. And then he's got a really neat looking ring around it that's out of that same wood. Uh, it's raised, but it's not all the way to the edge of the wood. So this is how I would do it. Instead of gra engraving a recess to lay those letters in, first of all, that'd take a lot of engraving. And once you've made the jig, you could use it multiple times for... So I just kind of typed out the text pretty close. I'm gonna left click, right click, and it's a hairline, so it's gonna cut. I'm gonna nudge it down out of, well, no, I'm not yet. I'm gonna go to and go to object and I'm gonna group these letters together. Then I'm gonna, I've got this, even this ring in there, I'm gonna take my smart fill tool and fill it in. That gave me an outline of all those letters and the inside of that ring. So I'm gonna left click, right click, and now I have that shape. Now, you might say, well, some of the inside letters are gone. I don't need them, because this is just for placement. This is grouped together. I have to break the curve apart, because I smart filled it. But I'm gonna grab all those right there and make sure they're still grouped together. And then I'm gonna get my contour tool. Go to effects, contour, I'm gonna to contour to the outside 0 0.02. I'm actually gonna contour in black so you can see the difference of the two contours. I'm gonna go up to object and break contour apart. I'm gonna to try to grab that outside contour. I'm gonna nudge it over. I got the inside. That's good. I knew it was the inside because it's red. Now also this thing is 8.635 where this one is 8.675. So you know that this is the bigger one. So we do not need that anymore. I'm gonna take this letters away and I'm gonna, so here's my board. You would cut this out of anything. Uh, if your letters are a quarter inch tall, you don't wanna use MDF because you'd have trouble getting them in there. I would just use eighth inch plywood and cut that out and your pieces will fit right in there. Now the, the ring you'll have to do visually to kind of eyeball it, but this part, and let's just fill it in with a lighter color, this part is inside that ring so you, it would help you glue the outside ring on. You would just have to eyeball the edges of the, of the uh, plaque, but then the letters would fall in. So I would hold this down Get it suggested, get it perfect. Uh, I would use Type Bond 2, which is a yellow wood glue. You can find it at any Home Depot or Lowe's or Woodcraft. And just lightly get a glue brush and just lightly brush the glue on. It's uh, really effective. You don't want any squeeze out. I might coat all the craft letters, uh, let them sit there for 30 seconds, put them in the mold, or in the well, then do the malt, same thing, wait about 30 seconds, put it, and then do all these. And then I'd lay down some wax paper over the whole thing and just press it down with your hand or you could even put some weights on it for uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Then just take that board away and your letters will be in that spot. And if they happen to move a little bit, you can get them right back. But that's how I would do it. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.